Hey everybody, welcome back to Hot Swipe for Germany Co-op with me, Rivals on Gaming, and Commissar Roach. Hello. Okay, Africa has been done. The Colonials have been kicked out, turfed out, beaten up, and all that kind of jazz. And so we move our focus completely to the United States. Uh, we are using nukes to soften up the island fortresses that they have created. And we have started our landing plans for our invasion of the United States. Um, I have my three army groups moving across to uh, our little patch of German Reich here. But yep. uh, they're, they're being slow because there's just no infrastructure over here. Meanwhile, you've been kind of building up our Navy and our Air Force to counteract the Americans, correct? Trying to. We're losing a lot of ships, uh, but uh, we're inflicting damage on them as well. Most of the ships we're losing are very old, heavy cruisers, uh, and some destroyers. So we're wearing them down. We're trying to. I think we still have a larger navy than they do. Uh, like, what's their navy size right now? Is uh, forty-nine to sixty-two. Ours is uh, one hundred and seventy. So. So yeah, we're doing well. We can afford to wear. We can afford to lose ships. They can't. Yeah. And they're losing ships raiding our territories near, like, the UK. They just lost a heavy cruiser over here. So so they're trying to make us think about something else, but unfortunately they are losing their ships while doing it. Yes. This is good. We are happy about this. Indeed. All right. I'm also going to deploy our paratroopers over to Venezuela. All right, uh, Rommel is in and happy. That's good. Um, I've got almost both the other armies ready to roll as well. Do you want them in the same place, or do you want me to hold them for now? Uh, hold them right now, because we won't have the infrastructure. No problemo. Alright. What's your navy looking like right now? Merge selected. There, there. Okay. We're building up fleets. We're trying to, at least. Yeah. Good news is, all their trade routes seem to go through where we're patrolling at the moment. Yep. That's kind of the thing I wanted to do. Also deployed uh, some of our uh, conventional tactical bombers on a long-range uh, anti-ship mission around the Florida coast to help us out a little bit. Nice. They're being deployed from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay, and then the Blue Army. Yeah, everybody's ready to launch. They just need to build up their all but... Uh, all but the invasion of the panhandle. Yeah. Can go. It's just the, um... I guess they don't have... Uh, we lack sufficient intel to dare sending an invasion through the regions. Demetria Plain. Sign more navies. More air wings. Okay, so we don't have the ability to do that, apparently. So they're there. They're going through here. Florida coast, Florida coast, Florida coast. Let's see. Play? Oh, okay, there it is. I see what's there what? now. Uh, I go, it cuts through one of the zones that we don't have a navy deployed to, which I will deploy a convoy raiding navy of what's left of our subs to uh -huh. Plain, Central Atlantic Gap, and the Cape Verde Plain. Oh, of course, yes. That'll help us out. It's this little tiny line just here. We lost a battle cruiser and a light cruiser. It's their aircraft, it's their naval aircraft. We're just. Chewing us up. Lost a battleship, oh, the Ludendorff. 
It's the first time we've took major naval losses since the first since the start of the war. When we yeah. lost the entire navy. <laughs> Through a mistake. Yeah, essentially. I guess you could call it that. I was trying I was trying to be nice. But it'll be 150 days before the two largest of these uh, deploy of our uh, of our naval invasions. Well, it is rather big naval invasions. Yeah, 44 divisions. I think that's. Uh, don't know how many divisions took part in uh, D-Day. Um, I have no idea. Hmm. A lot. <laughs> I assumed. You assumed? Yeah. Uh, where's, uh... Is, uh... Rommel there? Yes, he is. Uh, can yeah. you send Rommel on a naval invasion of Jamaica? Where is Jamaica? I've been looking for it for ages. Just south of, uh, Cuba. Oh, it's just south of Cuba. No wonder I couldn't find him. We're looking out to sea. Oh, it's that little blue island on its own. Yep. I You're gonna have I to plan the that. naval invasion from the, uh from the port on the far western side of our little foothold here. But you'll have to start from there and then go to, to Jamaica. Because we right. already have an okay. animation planning on the other two. Okay, so the one on the right? Yes. Alright. Okay. Done. All right, now you're just going to wait for it. You've got 63 days until it's ready to go. Yep. You might also... Yeah, yeah, 63 days until it'll go, so... We lost the Brittonfield, which is a Tier 2 cru heavy cruiser. Yeah, they've got much better naval experience than we do. We're building up our ships just as quickly as we're losing them at this point. Which is okay, I suppose. <laughs> well, would you rather nothing. not be building them up after we lose them? No, no, no. It's just if we were building more than we were losing, then yeah. But that'll take time. As we take out more of their stuff, we'll slowly stop losing less, won't we? Yep. Hopefully. All right, so we're sending all these invasion fleets at the same time, then. Well, you're going to take Jamaica first, and then from right. ja because Jamaica will decrease their ability to project their navy into the Caribbean. They'll have to right. deploy from other naval bases, and then probably from Jamaica to reinforce one of your guys whenever they they land. That, or you could invade uh, the Panama Canal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Jamaica also has an airbase on it. From what I've seen. I can't see that. I can yeah. see the When we get close the naval to it. Base. Yeah, yeah we, won't have, we don't have radar here, so we can't see it. Uh, we know there's a naval base there, but there's a question mark because we don't know how big it is. Uh, there is an air base, but that's inland. Uh, right. We see it sometimes whenever one of our fleets go by it. Right. Okie dokie. We knocked out one of the American carriers. Yeah! The USS Franklin. A tier 4 carrier. There's five tiers, isn't there? Yep, and we also took out the USS Hancock, a tier 4 carrier. And the USS Bring uh, uh, Benning Bennington, another tier 4 carrier. Wow. Wow. Those were all done by our naval bombers, by the way. Our navy hasn't sunk a single one. <laughs> naval bombers have pretty much been our go-to thing. Has been we? our navy. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. But that cuts down their potential uh, naval uh, like strength by a lot. That is that is major for us. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, and now he's disappeared again. 
Oh, the airbase? Yeah. Yeah, the elusive, the elusive Jamaican airbase. Yeah. Um, we've got a 50% on the next mechanized. Or do you want to go already, for Marines or... Oh, okay. Right, you've been, I've, I've gotten to the swing of just doing it because you've been in Africa uh, focusing on that, so... I'm just Sorry. I'm kicking it lately. <laughs> I wanted a vacation. <laughs> well, hey, you did, uh, you did fine in Africa. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Italian clay that you've now taken. I know. It's just so nice, isn't it? And did I get a thank you card? No. <laughs> See, all we need to do now is take out the U.S., and that'll be the last major obstacle for us. Everyone else has capitulated except for Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand. And yeah, and the Philippines, which I'm still not sure why they exist, uh, since half their islands have been taken. <laughs> but I guess it's not a big deal at this point. Nobody gives. Nobody. Just, nobody cares. <laughs> no. No, no one cares at all. They got Fort Drum. That's in the, in, we don't want to fight that. No, not particularly. <laughs> I keep getting uh, I keep getting like messages about that uh, about like info about that because uh, yes, uh, somebody posted I think yesterday it was they said yeah the Americans never even tried to take it back by force uh, after the Japanese Why would occupied you? it. Well, then what they did was they they found uh, they bombarded it to the point where they uh, were able to uh, knock out the. Um, like the rear defense guns, yeah, uh, and then they they took a ship behind it and poured jellied gasoline down the ventilation pipes and just let it burn. Nice for days and days and days. Yeah, and that's how they took it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, they built it. They probably knew, oh, we're not taking it back. <laughs> no, true. Because, I mean, the Japanese already didn't give up. So, if they have a position that's not going to fall, they're not going to give up doubly so. Took out another uh, carrier, the USS Lexington. Tier 1 carrier. Cool. So, the carrier fleet in the, in the Caribbean currently is the Saratoga and the Intrepid. Oh, we just knocked out the USS Washington, a battleship. We're wearing them down. Slowly but surely. We took a lot of casualties. I think we lost the Bismarck as well during this whole thing. Well, at least it died over this side of the Atlantic instead of in a Ford. Uh, no, Bismarck's still there, actually. Yeah, we still have the Bismarck. Hmm. And the Turpets, surprisingly enough. Well, I'm ready to go in 25 days. Yeah, you are. Let's see how the other invasions look. Uh, Blue Army can invade already. You got... Uh, you got 40-ish days to go. Well, 50-ish days to go, give or take a couple of days, on the other two. A little bit less than 50 on the other two. So you can take Jamaica first. Yeah. Then I'll wait to go all in one. We'll invade across the entire wide front. Then I go for Panama. Then after Panama, come up and help you. Yeah, and you could also get the armies from Africa in on this to any uh, yeah. footholds we uh, establish. Yeah. Another two carriers, the Bunker Hill and the Br Bremerton. So, Bremerton. Bremerton, yes. Well, how would you know? It's an American carrier. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm Sorry. talking about. Sorry. It was also the name of a submarine more recently. What was it? Yeah. A Los Angeles Class 688. Why do you know that? Because <laughs> I used to be in the Royal Navy. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Huh. I was a submariner. <laughs> well, I was training to be a submariner, and then I damaged my knee and I couldn't do it anymore. Huh. Didn't know that about you. No. Nah. Then again, it's the UK. Why, why wouldn't I expect a Brit to have been in the Royal Navy? <laughs> uh, it's either I, that or be a chimney sweep, right? Like, that's the, that's the Something like that, yeah. 
No, I'll, it was what I wanted to do, and then I, I damaged my knee when I was really, really young. And it came back because you have to do certain physical tasks in order to pass basic training. And I was just, I was going through, I was crushing all the classes on this for the submarine school and everything. And uh, I just couldn't do a mile and a half run in enough time. My knee just kept collapsing on me. Wouldn't think you'd need to run that far in a sub. It's not really that big. Ladders. <laughs> Ladders, yeah. Well, then again, it's not a mile and a half ladder. Or, or if it no, is, you're not. hiding a big secret from the rest of the world. <laughs> Shh! Don't say anything. <laughs> People might not know yet. <laughs> but no, you have to be able to do certain things. It's our new sub. We call it the Atlantis because it's the size of a continent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But no, I just couldn't do it. Um, so it was a, it, basically my knee was bad enough that I needed surgery, but not bad enough that they would pay for it. Oh yeah, sounds like that sounds like the government. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like every government. So it was a case of you can keep trying, but if you can't do it, then you'll never pass. So you were actually in the Royal Navy, you just couldn't get to the submariners. Uh, yeah. Uh, section. Oh, so you actually served. It wasn't just basic. I was training. in. Yeah. I just, it was the last week of basic, basically, that I was told. You'll never do it. That sucks. Yeah. I got through everything. Oh, uh, well. And it was just one of those things, you know, it's... It's a guy, I took it on as a life challenge, basically. That was mm -hmm. what I set my heart on. I needed to find something else to do. And now you, uh, you know, and now you do videos online of you uh, being the Nazis uh, during yeah. World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> and sing and single-handedly, oh, well, I mean, part had a had a very large uh, influence over the destruction of the Royal Navy. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Is it cathartic? Or is, is that... <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt great after that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't run a mile and a half now? Who can't run it now? <laughs> no, it was it was just one of those things. I need to find something else, and I found YouTube. Mm. Making videos, and people watching them and commenting, and starting a community and things. It was fun. What well, is fun? It was would mean you're not doing it anymore. <laughs> Which, still very are. true. Very true. I am ready to roll, so I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Go get him, Rommel. Kind of hoping you'd move faster than that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's taking you so long? Shift it. Where are going? Had to load onto the boats. Should be loaded. What are they playing at? Uh, I'm gonna bring across one of my armies. All right. Yeah, just put them in the same spot. Yep. <laughs> I, I like. I made this a level ten infrastructure in this little foothold we have here. So this is. Yep. So this section of the Amazon rainforest is just like. <laughs> it's like downtown London, or no? I guess <laughs> I guess that would be worse. That would be like level one infrastructure. Uh, it's like, no, huh? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> What large city has a good infrastructure? Uh, Berlin? Ber Berlin doesn't have a lot of traffic. Jams, does pretty, it? I'd say Tokyo. Tokyo has a great infrastructure. Yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo. Modern day Tokyo. It's like modern day Tokyo yeah. on, this, on the coast of this. Of the Amazon. They, with, they, I've got, with Hamburg they level they can, ports. <laughs> yeah, they can make some... They've got infrastructure given how small their island is and how compact and everything. You can get everywhere you need to go. Lightning quick. Why can't the UK do that? <laughs> well, it for many reasons, but <laughs> mainly because we can't be bothered. <laughs> I was watching this documentary about uh, like post World War II. There was a plan of making. Um, I don't know what you call them over there. We we call them interstates, like you yes. know, multi lane, uh, like uh, uh, what do you call them? Like the major M motorways. Motor motorways. Making a rings of motorways around London, uh, having like yeah, there is. It's called the M25. No, 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 no. That's a part of one. It's supposed to that. That's a part of one. It was supposed to be a large outer ring for the suburbs, 
a smaller inner ring for the interior, and then a, and then an even smaller one for the downtown with a cross connecting of other motorways so that you wow. could get everywhere. Was the plan? They only completed, I think, they only completed the lo- uh, most of the large outer one, but they didn't complete it all because it's still connected by just repurposed motorways or repurposed uh-huh. roads. And then they only completed partial ones of the two interior ones. And then they went like, as eh, too expensive, whatever. Uh, it's just, people aren't going to vote for us because we're going to have to we're going to have to expand the roads, which means knocking down buildings. And it uh, yeah. and it, it didn't go anywhere. But it was it was a, a very in depth plan. Holy crap! Major, well, look outside of Panama. Outside of Panama. Oh yeah, you, you saw the. Uh... Wow, I saw all the ships and everything. We lost three destroyers, and look at what they lost. The USS Essex, the Saratoga, the Intrepid, three oh carriers. They lost four God. battle cruisers. The Midway, the Hawaii, the the Johnson uh, Atoll. Ot- ah, Jesus. The uh, oh, what is that? Atoll. Atoll. Right? Atoll. I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah something like that. And uh, another island-themed uh, name. Uh, and then two heavy cruisers. We have. I can't capture the Panama Canal. There's a naval base in the province. Mm. There's a naval base in the province? Yep. Oh, that sucks. Well, you can support the landings when we go then. Yep. We're only a couple days out. Jamaica's gone. Good, good. It's a naval base gone. Maybe that's why they they got, they got, uh, that fleet got knocked out. Maybe Jamaica was their home base. Yeah. Pushed out. Frickin they song lost a again. lot. <laughs> what is, is this that? You hold the door. What is this song's name? I can't pronounce it because it's all in German. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not even gonna try. <laughs> it's two minutes and twenty-two seconds long, and it's just the same, <laughs> it's that frickin' chorus. All right, we're good on naval invasions. Everything's prepared, ready to go. Going in three, two, one. Um, do you want my help with Florida? We'll see if I get a if I can if I can achieve a foothold. Yeah. Then you can come in as a follow up. Yeah. And cool push through it. Luckily, we won't have to deal with the Florida hedgerows in this invasion, or, or, or the Texan or New Orleans hedgerows or anything to stop us from pushing out. So we should be able to expand it quite far before they are able to uh, push us back. And then you can move in your Red Army, which is almost to the uh, to their landing zone after yep, that as well. and I've got Yellow on its way as well to the central landing zone. Now you've deployed your guys out. Ha ha ha! Hold it all! U B D! Ha ha ha! You okay? What is this song? I can't stop! What is this song? I'm not sure you're alright, mate. Maybe you should see someone. I'm fine! <laughs> I'm fine. You're Maybe not I'm... all right. <laughs> Fighting Patton. It's Manstein versus Patton, and this is a naval invasion of Miami. This game's weird. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Wave at first at Panzer Army as you drive by them on the sea. <laughs> Come on, you can push through that. You've been stuck at 98 for ages. I don't care if they've got sea fortresses. Come on, it's only one division. It's one division of infantry. No, it's MacArthur. We're fighting MacArthur now. Oh, blooming heck. Nope, there's Patton again. <laughs> they, they can't figure out who's who. Who's in command? Yes! You're landing in Florida. Oh, 
All right, we're in Florida. Uh, you should probably probably back us up in Florida with uh, with First Panzer. Gotcha. I'm trying to take Miami to give us a to give us a naval base so it gets supplies. Yep. It also gives me a nice place to land. All right. Ooh, we cut them off. All right, we've landed in Texas. Yep, you sure have. Multiple successful landings. Oh yeah, all three. Nicely done there, sir. Yeah, we just need to take, uh, uh, just need to take this, uh, this one in Mississippi. Okay, we have naval bases in all of these now as well, so we're, well, all but the central lander. Okay, uh, both the other two armies are landed now as well in our reserve area. Okay, we have supplies in all three landing zones. Sweet. You managed to get ports in all of them. Nicely done. That's how I planned it. I made sure that we were all deployed. Oh, yeah, and I saw that you were only like one province away from... I just didn't think they... We're not having a repeat of Sea Lion. We're going to make sure that they have supplies <laughs> immediately. Oh, man. One time. <laughs> okay. And I'm just checking our research right now. Pick up the last of our synthetic refineries. Okay, we've it's got... It's actually happening. I didn't think we'd actually do it. It's happening. Okay. Well, looking at the time, that is the end of this episode. Yeah. This is your outro. Of course it is, yeah. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. If you like the videos, then please do hit the like button. Don't forget to comment, let us know what you think, and share them with everybody you know. Um, USA, I'm very sorry, we're invading you now. I apologize, it had to be done. Um, yep. If you like, then please go down into the description where you'll find links to the other person's perspective. So if it's me, you'll see Roach, and if it's Roach, you'll see me. Um, and uh, don't forget to check Roach's description for his patreon page and discord channel but until next time you lot take care of yourselves we'll see you there bye bye bye